Hey, how's it going? Uh, first, thank you for uploading your op-eds. We'll be using those this week. Now, I want to take a step back and think more big picture. You know, think about future goals. And, and unfortunately for many of us, before we can think of the, the beach and the sun and the ocean, we're probably going to have to think of something like this. This here, this is the writing proficiency exam that's offered by San Diego State University. And this writing proficiency exam is offered to all students just before they become juniors. So it's for all transfer students as well. And that brings me to the big point right now. That is that this week's assignment, you can consider the $1,800 assignment. And the reason I say that is because this assignment very much emulates the proficiency exam that you would have to take whether you go to San Diego State, whether you transfer to another state institution, whether you transfer to a UC, and in some cases, whether you transfer to a private school. That is that many of these colleges and universities give this high stakes exam to students and the results of this high stakes exam determine how many more writing classes they will be taking. And so specifically, if we look at this example here, if you take a look at this website uh, about the WPA, you can see that it has a section that talks about the three levels of placement. And when it talks about three levels of placement, in this section right here, it says that most students score within the, the range of 8. Uh, they give the scores between 1 and 12. If you score a 10, 11, or 12, you have no more writing courses that you need to take unless demanded by your major. However, most students end up in that mid-range, and so those students have to take at least one more upper division writing exam. If each unit at San Diego State is about 300 or so bucks, that's about $900 that you're paying because of the score that you've received on the WPA. Lots of students end up scoring six or below, and so those students are required to take two classes. So two three-unit classes. We do the math, and you're paying upwards of 1800 bucks merely because of how well you do in this 90-minute timed exam. And so I say all of this because I have some real issues with these high-stakes exams, but they do exist. And so I want to make sure that students are prepared to get strong scores on them so that they can keep those $1,800 in their pocket. And so there's kind of the background of all of the work for this week. This week, I'm asking you to write your rhetorical analysis. But really, the rhetorical analysis is what, for many institutions, is their writing proficiency exam. And so if we look at what happens at San Diego State, for example, we can take a look at the sample that they provide. And when we look at this sample, I want you to see that what they do is give you an op-ed. This is actually an editorial by the Los Angeles Times. And then they give you a prompt. And if you look at this prompt, they're using all of the language that we have been using throughout the first few weeks of the semester. Identify and provide a brief explanation of the author's argument. Identify two persuasive strategies. Um, discuss the assumptions on which the argument is based. Evaluate the extent to which the reader would find the argument convincing. In other words, to what extent do you see that the argument is logically strong and rhetorically effective? And so, having said all of this, I hope that you take the rhetorical analysis project this week seriously. Because in a sense, I'm treating it as an exam. There's no draft, right? You're going to choose a student's op-ed and you're going to write this analysis of it. Now, I will also say that I don't love this assignment, but I do see that this assignment has real practical value in the real world. And so I hope to give you the experience such that should you face a writing proficiency exam uh, at your transfer institution, you're well prepared and you can keep your hands on those 1800 bucks. Take care.